Pike, the Grey District Mayor says to remove any doubts of a cover-up, the government needs to release all of the footage gathered from the Pike River mine since the 2010 disaster. Newly released footage shows a robot and two men using breathing apparatus inside the drift or the main tunnel. Now the drift is the bit, really the road up to where the digging, the mining is. Three months after the 2010 explosion, the mine's owner Solid Energy has consistently said it's too dangerous to try to retrieve the remains of the 29 men killed. Maya Barry reports. The police say the footage, which in total is several hours long, was not supplied for viewing in the Royal Commission of Inquiry into the disaster as it was assessed as having no evidential value. Neville Rockhouse was the mine's former coal safety and training manager. He lost one son, Benjamin, in the disaster, while his other son, Daniel, was one of just two survivors. He says the leaked footage is significant, as it confirms the mine's drift is safe to enter. Yeah, it sort of validates what the family's experts said back in the day when they did an assessment and verifies that Solid Energy's experts got it terribly wrong and that, that the mine would never be safe to enter again, which is you know, obviously, with the latest evidence, uh, is inaccurate. Tommy Daly's friend, Milton Osborne, died in the Pike River mine. When asked whether someone needed to be held accountable over the footage not being shown to the families, Mr Daly had this to say. Oh, there wouldn't be enough paper to write down the people that should be accountable for this, honestly. Why have the families got to sit down hours upon hours and look at the footage to find stuff when the police and that know exactly where it is? They should be giving it to the families and saying, go down this far and you'll see this. But that for some reason they're making the families find it all themselves. The Grey District Mayor, Tony Cockshorn, says releasing all the footage gathered from the mine would help remove doubts about whether it was intentionally withheld. I don't know if it's been done on purpose, but it does need to be released. Let's just take that bogey of a conspiracy out of this. Let's get all of the footage, all of the stuff that is available for the public. Let's get it out there, get the transparency and go to the next step. Tony Cockshorn says that next step is searching the mine's drift for bodies and evidence. The community in Greymouth, they want closure on this. They want to see a reconnaissance down the drift to eliminate whether there are any miners in the tunnel itself. But late this afternoon, Solid Energy released a statement rejecting that the footage shows re-entry can be done safely. Its chief executive, Tony King, says the workers shown in the footage are in the first few metres of the drift, which is very different to the risks associated with being deep into the mine's shaft. The risks around re-entry do not centre around the conditions in the first part of the drift, which is what is shown in this footage. The significant re-entry risks are mainly beyond the part of the drift that has been explored by the robot. Mr King says Solid Energy is working with government agencies and the families on potential unmanned re-entry options. For Checkpoint, Maya Burry.